Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am here with a very very different topic and very interesting topic that is electric potential. Most of the students have uh, difficulty in understanding this topic so I have brought this video for you all and I will finish this topic within 5 minutes. So all of you watch this video till the end without any skip and at last also hit the like button. Okay, so for its understanding, I have drawn a small diagram with a small definition in it. First, let's read the definition. The level of charge is described by a quantity called electric potential. So if you search for the definition of electric potential, you would get a very complex definition. But here I am telling you the simplest definition ever. Now, what does this mean? Level of charge described by a quantity. What is the meaning of this? So we'll understand this by this one example. As you can see, I have two beakers here. Beaker A and beaker B. This is my situation 1. And in the situation B, I have beaker A, beaker B as I was having in the first situation. Right? Now, what is the difference which you can see here? The difference is that in here, both the beakers were placed at the same at both the beakers were placed at the same height but 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 in scene 2 both the beakers are not placed in same height one beaker is at high altitude or high height and the other beaker is at lower height is that so yes so now if i want that my water in both the beakers in all the four beakers water is there i want that water from b should pass to a so it will not pass like this but when i will place it into a height it will automatically automatically pass into a so that's it level of charge level is the its level its level of charge is described by a quantity just this thing is described by a quantity which is called electric potential now let's see the next important thing that is current flows only when there is a difference in potential. The current or the water it flowed only then when I made a difference in its height. So when I changed the level of height only then current flowed only then water flowed. Same thing is written here. Now in physics SI units are the most important. Let's see the SI unit of electric potential. The SI unit of electric potential is Volt. So that's it about our topic electric potential. I explained it in the simplest way ever. So if you like this video, do like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Learning with Angel JNR. And you can get more series of these topics like electric potential, electric charge, electric current, etc. etc. So do subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon. 